There was plenty of talk about close encounters at a congressional hearing on UFOs yesterday. Lawmakers heard stunning but unverified claims that the military has been hiding evidence of alien spacecraft from the American people. Scott McFarlane was there and joins us from the U.S. Capitol. Scott, good morning. Dana, good morning. It was a very rare sight here. Members of the media from across the world inside a U.S. House subcommittee hearing room, a room that doesn't usually get this kind of attention, but the claims made inside were certainly creating a buzz. Just like at the movies, turns out there's a line out the door when Congress talks about UFOs, also known as unidentified aerial phenomena as well. Do you believe UAPs pose a potential threat to our national security? Yes, and here's why. The, the technology that we faced was far superior than anything that we had. A U.S. House subcommittee called three military veterans to talk about their close encounters. I know the exact locations. Former military intelligence officer David Grush testified he suspects the Pentagon is covering up a decades-long program to retrieve crashed objects. Do you believe that our government is in possession of UAPs? Absolutely, based on interviewing uh, over 40 witnesses over four years. The Pentagon has denied Grush's claims. <laughs> and then there was the uncorroborated testimony the U.S. is in possession of alien material from crashed UAPs. Biologics came with some of these recoveries, yeah. Were they, I guess, human or non-human biologics? Non-human, and that was the assessment of people uh, with direct knowledge on the program I talked to that are currently still on the program. Two former pilots also detailed their own experiences with mysteries in the sky. This object was uh, estimated to be almost the size of a football field. It was perfectly white, smooth, no windows. Congress, which for decades has avoided the topic of UFOs, signaled it's considering new requirements for federal agencies and the Pentagon to open their books on the more than 360 UFO reports made since early 2021. And I want to trust that the American people will be able to weigh the evidence and make up their own minds. This is becoming a uniquely bipartisan issue. The Senate this week takes up legislation that would require the National Archives to regularly release federal reports about UFOs. Arguing, Nancy, those mysterious items in the sky are a danger, if nothing else, to military pilots. Very intriguing. Scott, thank you very much. I mean, when you hear non-human biologics, <laughs> I, my, I'm intrigued. <laughs> Here's the only, I believe that they are out there, but this all relies on the government being able to keep a secret for a really long time. Right. And that kind of efficiency <laughs> is not always in evidence. But in now the, the secrets government. are coming out. Yeah. And so we're learning more. Anything that is bipartisan, I can get behind though. That's yes. okay. I like that. As rare aliens. as a UFO. <laughs> That's right. Bipartisanship. It's bipartisanship. <laughs> we shall see.